So welcome back to LA show thank you guys so much for tuning back in with me so you guys I wanted to tell you some new stuff that's been going on I have started up my audible experience and I want you guys to start it up with me so you can use my code LA show 20 to receive and start your audible experience for a discounted amount and also you can start up your 30-day trial so use my code um, and we can get into some different books because, you know, knowledge is power and I want to become more well versed in a lot of things. Also, I want you guys to check out my podcast now available on Spotify, Anchor FM, Breaker FM, Radio Public and more outlets as well. Just type in LA show and you can listen to some news updates. And a lot of different topics that I'm talking about that I just can't make videos about sometimes. So if you guys want to hear more, um, please come over there to the podcast. Also, I wanted to inform you guys about my ventures with marketing. Um, you know, we have a lot of black owned businesses and a lot of black talent in the world. And I want to start showcasing people on here. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any businesses to offer? Any people that you guys really like um, and see that are working hard on their entrepreneurship? And, you know, just, you know, getting the word out about different businesses. And, you know, I would love to come in and help uh, as much as I can. So if you guys want to send things, let me know. I'll give you some contact info for me. And we can get this thing really started. So, free promo Friday is available on my social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, but you can also find me here on YouTube where I want to start doing the interviews. So, let's get that started. Um, I also include uh, a commercial that will be inserted in my videos. Um, you know, we're doing some big things over here and I really do appreciate all of you guys. So I want to give that love right back out to the community and circulate these black dollars. So let's get started on the news and let's see what's going on. This is the hot topics and this, this article really, really stopped me in my tracks. I had to repost this on my Instagram page at LA show underscore where you can get up-to-date news um, daily cbsnews.com teen slave for sale Craigslist post prompts hate crime charges Naperville Illinois a suburban Chicago 14 year old faces hate crime and other charges for allegedly posting on Craigslist a picture of an african-american classmate with the caption slave for sale Prosecutors allege the white Naperville Central High School freshman also included an offensive racial slur in the ad that they called Beyond Disturbing. The teen's defense attorney counters the students were friends and school authorities are handling the matter with an apology and a suspension. Authorities didn't disclose the teen's name because he's a juvenile. He appeared Wednesday in DuPage County Juvenile Court where he was charged with two counts of committing a hate, hate crime and one count of disorderly conduct. He's due back in court December 18th. Assistant State Attorney Lee Ropas said the teen took the photo last week while the two sat at the lunch table. Prosecutors described the allegations as serious and aggravating and said the actions risked the safety of the victim. Hate crimes have no place in our society and will not be tolerated, the county state attorney Robert B. Berlin said in a statement. Anyone, regardless of age, accused of such disgraceful actions will be charged accordingly. This is a despicable and extremely offensive post 
that is not at all reflective of the caring, welcoming community that our department serves and protects every day, Naperville Police Chief Robert Marshall said in a statement. Defense attorney Harry Smith said the two were friends and Central's principal is getting the two friends together and coordinating an apology. Authorities say the teen is serving an in-school suspension. Students told CBS Chicago it's a two-day suspension. It's not clear what kind of penalty he might face if convicted. Paul Durar, a spokesperson for the state's attorney's office, told the Associated Press the aim for juveniles is accountability, not punishment, though the student is going to face probation at a minimum. The ad followed on October 26th incident at Buffalo Wild Wings restaurant in Naperville, in which some black customers said they were asked to uh, asked by the restaurant employees to change tables because of a regular customer's request. Wow. Dara said that case had no bearing on our decision to file charges against the juvenile. Wow, 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 wow. So this child, he is a child, decided to post his friend. And like they said, that does risk his safety when you post him on a site like Craigslist. I mean, come on now. And as far as that being a joke and you guys joking around, I've never heard of two friends joking around like that. Um, that just shows clear racism, disrespect. And honestly, I feel as though they were right for charging this boy because that's really going to wake him up to whatever he was taught um because this is taught behavior this is these are things that are taught by people and the way that they teach the slave history um in schools is very very alarming you should ask your children what they're teaching in these schools because it's completely lies complete just nonsense and it's not factual so, you know, you want to talk about fake news and stuff like that. Well, that's a lot of fake news that our children are soaking up. So people can disrespect and tarnish um, things so sacred. Uh, I was watching a uh, post by, I can't think of his name right now. But he was talking about a book. And the book is very, very, very disturbing. It has a bunch of lynchings in it it also has a bunch of pictures of lynchings and people being actually roasted um i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but this book i just looked it up the name of it is sanctuary without sanctuary and i do not know who it's written by but you guys should look that book up i mean it made my eyes literally open really really wide because you know they flaunted this stuff they paraded this stuff and now it's such a um hush hush topic but you know hate crime charges is what that little boy deserved definitely to disrespect people that went through what you see in that book so you guys look that book up um also i saw somebody make a post that kind of struck me today where they were like, um, you know, people aren't really celebrating Thanksgiving anymore. They're skipping straight to, to Christmas in America. And, you know, I was like, wow, that is true. You know, I do see a lot more Christmas stuff. People are putting their Christmas trees right on up right before we get to Thanksgiving. But a lot of people are waking up and seeing the colonization and the blatant disrespect uh, to indig indigenous people. And, um, yeah, so that's interesting. And, you know, this is not the first thing that I've heard on school campuses about racism. I think L.A., a school in L.A. had one. One of uh, the schools in Virginia had one. One of the schools um, in, I can't think of it, I think it's Alabama had one. Uh, these incidents are becoming more and more prevalent because, like I said, this is top behavior. But yeah, let me get into the next story. So this story happened back in May. And um, this, this crazy, crazy woman. So 
um, this is a short one. This article is coming from 25news.com, 25newsweek.com. Woman pleads guilty to murdering eight-year-old normal girl. Bloomington, Illinois. Illinois. A normal woman pleaded not guilty to killing her eight-year-old stepdaughter in January. Cynthia Baker, age 41, pleaded not guilty to all counts in the death of her eight-year-old stepdaughter. Prosecutor said Baker kicked the child so hard that her intestines were breached. The child was life-flighted life -flighted to Peoria Hospital where she died on January 26th. Wow. Prosecutors have also filed 10 misdemeanor charges against Baker that outline a pattern of abuse leading up to the girl's death. DCFS acknowledged the agency became involved in the child's welfare in 2014. The agency has said it is working to review its practices, policies, and procedures. Baker is due back in court on May 8th for the return of a subpoena. And that is an article from May 3rd of 2019. But I want to get an update on this woman. So give me just a moment. Yeah, I want to get an update on her. Because she is something else, huh? So you just kick a baby and, you know. I heard she is facing up to 200 years for what she did to this child. And I'm just trying to understand why you did it. It's really no reason why, I assume. But, um, this woman has had multiple run-ins with CPS. And now you're telling me that this child finally dies at the hands of this woman. So I don't see another article on this, but like I said, this is something where, you know, children are not being protected in the CPS system. If you guys want to talk about that a little bit more, we can definitely do a dive in on different cases that have happened um, to children. And, you know, it's a special spot in my heart because, you know, it is, it just really is. Um, I just want you women to know that you got to stay strong as a mother. As many faces as we have to hold up, we have to hold up something strong and something that, you know, we can leave behind, a legacy. Um, so also think about that in your daily motions. But um, I'm going to move on to the next story because that is very sad. And you can look up that story. Like I said, I heard she was facing up to 200 years for that crime that she committed. And this is an older story that, uh, of course, repopulates on the internet. So nothing ever dies, you guys. Be mindful of what you post. Uh, so we have another story coming from Fox8.com. First male birth control could be available within the next seven months. A male contraceptive that reportedly will last around 13 years could be available to the public in the next seven months, according to the scientists in India. The Hindustan Times reports that the Indian Council of Medical Research completed clinical trial, trials for the contraceptive, which has been sent to the Drug Controller General for, of Indian for approval. The contraceptive is a replacement for surgical vasectomies and loses potency after 13 years. The product is ready with only regulatory approvals pending with the drugs count controller. The trials are over, including extended phase three clinical trials for which 303 candidates were recruited with a 97.3% success rate and no reported side effects. The product can safely be called the world's first male contraceptive. Dr. R.S. Sharma, senior scientist with ICMR, told the Hindustan Times. The Hindustan Times reports that the contraceptive is a polymer that is injected in the groin area under local anesthesia by a registered medical professional. 
CBS Philly reports that a similar contraceptive called Vasagel is under development in the U.S. I wouldn't use that, you guys. I'm sorry. That's just me. You guys can use it if you want to, if you don't want kids that bad. But what I see is a spike in STDs, and you watch. When this stuff hits the stands, and they're saying, oh, you can use your Medicaid to get this, watch all these young boys, 18 to whatever age, 25 maybe, getting this stuff in college, getting this stuff... Um, in high school watch these kids start really burning these streets up y'all think these diseases are a joke now well you know watch out because once this stuff hits it's going to be like a drug people are really going to think that they're invincible and uh we know how men think anyway they are you know creatures of habit they are predatorial you know they like to prowl on you and this will give them the aim to say hey baby you know let me go in raw for a second you know so yeah you know i don't i don't condone in that i wouldn't do that um but you guys will see the rise in the stds and the hiv and aids that's already circulating around this thing i know you guys have heard about that uh, Bring It On, uh, he was on Bring It On, um, I forget his name, he gave a little boy, 16 year old boy that was on the dancing team, um, the Dancerettes down there in I think Alabama, um, he gave that boy AIDS and that's very sad, but you know, like I said, these predatory means and these things that are going on in the world with pedophilia, we got to pay attention to it. Because, you know, they're coming up with more things to get us hurt in the long run. And anyway, you don't know what's in this stuff. So, you know, for something that can wear off in 13 years, imagine what you're going to look like in 13 years. <laughs> I mean, come on now. But, yeah, this is the hot topics. I'm going to come back with some current events and updates. So stay tuned. And thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, find me on Spotify for my podcast. And also follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter and I'll be there. See you guys soon.